Salt. Heck yeah. And uh, we'll see. Oh, he's wearing, wearing the brig tag. Shout out to the brig, uh, UMD Falcon. So starting off Battlefield here, pretty uh, neutral stage for the matchup. Falco generally prefers stages with, you know, the low ceiling, kill Puff early. Puff wants the... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Battlefield is high ceiling, dude. Yeah, exactly. So this is like the n more neutral stage. Oh, okay, okay. For the, okay. Yeah. No, no. Dude, Battlefield's they, got a very they, high stage. Small yeah. stage. I play Fox ceiling. now, so I at least know like what <laughs> stages have what ceiling. I remember I did a commentary for one set, and I think it was Captain Face Roll called me read. out because I said FD had a high ceiling, and uh, his comment was, uh, "When you're a Falcon player, every stage has a high ceiling when you try and kill a stomp <laughs> off the top." <laughs> so, um, ooh, nice forward smash. Ducks underneath the laser there to clip Narak. Yeah, um, Narak also a classic salty person, so. <laughs> He, uh, yeah, said he's in a bad mood today, but he gets the shine to shine. Nice. That's one way to kill off oh. the top for Falco. Calibrating. All right. We good? So, yeah, yeah Nurok with a slight lead here. Oh, gets caught rolling in. That is actually a Nurok habit he's had for a while, is he likes that roll in when he's pressured in the corner. So, yeah. good, uh, good read from Ace of Flakes there with the forward smash to take it. Going straight back to the camping, though. <laughs> yeah, that, I like the game plan, though, from Narak. I mean, look at it right now. He's built 70% without being touched just by walling out Puff with lasers and uh, Falco's aerials, which is like, you know, how you're supposed to play the matchup. It's just when they when he messes up, he can't get punished too hard. He's got to be able to DI Puff's throws or else he'll yeah, get uh, yeah. up throw arrested. 0%. Probably don't have to worry about that too much unless you DI, like, straight away. Yeah. Ooh, good spot dodge. Ooh. Gets grabbed here. Oh, he so should have actually just gone for that one. Yeah, he set it up with the uh, H-Box uh, tech throw trap right there, where uh, it's really actually pretty hard to tech that, even if you know it's coming, which it's almost always is, but still yeah. very hard tech to hit. And then so uh, Puff the can actually just rest the missed tech. Yeah, the secret is that it's a 50-50 between you, between you teching Puff's up throw and you, you teching Puff's up air. Yeah. So if you choose to tech the up throw, obviously you can't uh, you can't tech twice in the same window, so mm -hmm. you miss the tech when she up airs. But if you just uh, if you say, all right, well I won't tech the throw, then I'll tech the up air. Jigs just doesn't up air and just rests you. I have very rarely seen that happen. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like 99% of the time Puff's gonna go for an up air though. It's because most people don't have the 50-50 in mind, so they always just try to check the up throw because yeah. that's sort of like it's the, just like a force thing, of habit. Right? Yeah. yeah. So most jigs will just like they'll do the up air. Oh no. Regardless, but. He's a flick strapping the edge guard here. He really needed that because uh, he's had a pretty big deficit, and when. Puff is at a deficit. It's actually really hard for her to bring it back in this matchup. Yeah. Um, Falco's specialty Puff, is uh, yeah. Falco's specialty is kind of keeping Puff away with lasers and uh, playing the lame game, which uh, when he has a lead is a lot easier. And then, like you mentioned, rest will be off the table because uh, he doesn't want to trade that damage. Yeah. Good back air there from Nurok. Catches him trying to fade back towards mid stage. Ouch. Nurok rolling out of the corner, but getting away with it there. Oh. And yeah, Ace of Flakes, he just looks a little slow on his uh, edge guards there. He's not getting out there in time, and Nurok's making it back, which uh, really helps. When Puff can kill Falco early, this matchup becomes a lot easier, but Nurok's lived to like 130% both stocks, which as a Falco player, you got to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I think he was uh, he was just barely short on that back air, and so I think he was planning on killing him with that. Mm -hmm. Dangerous situation for Nurok. Oh, Ooh. misses the up air. Um, that might have been a situation where he could have pulled out the pound, maybe, and done a DI mix-up. But uh, let's see here. Feeling each other out on the platforms here. A lot I of think, back air spacing. I think maybe he could have read Narok on the roll-in. Because I was reading roll-in, because I thought that was like, all right, he's tech-rolled once. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to tech-roll and tech in place because like I think in that situation it's sort of scary to tech, the tech in, place. in place is kind of like the I'm gonna get rested yeah if, uh, or they read it so or it's sort of like it's sort of like um I feel like the tech in place people normally do it if they're like yeah he's not gonna like hit me so I'll just tech in place here you know mm -hmm. get get in fast Ooh. gets the back air there though and that'll be so unlike Fox uh Falco's up B does not have the flames on it no so fire. you can just go down there hit, hit him once or twice and then he's not making it back it's a lot less distance so that was a good edge guard there from Ace Flakes, and it's brought him back to last stock here. Yeah, and this actually becomes, uh, you know, still Falco favored, but now he has if to If I'm worry. a Falco player, I'm scared right You're now. Because you make one, you know, input error, one dumb mistake, hit yeah. Puff's shield wrong one way, you can get up throw arrested. It's actually kind of funny. I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know if I was playing Ace or Con Man. 
but I was in a very similar situation where I was up two stocks to one. Uh -huh. And so I get rest the first time, right? I, I respawn, I instantly miss an attack on a on a resting Jigglypuff, get up the Oh no. <laughs> That's like the uh, get up the rest It's like the die. apex. Uh, oh no, ice oh punish. no. Oh, he could have rested that if he was made the read, but uh, doesn't do that. Goes for the forward air. Gets a little bit of damage, but he's had a big deficit here. Bad oh, situation for Narok. Oh. How does he get back? Oh. oh, no. Goes right at him. Good read on the high side B there. Oh. Stuffs it with a Nair, but I'm surprised that Nair didn't knock him over. Could have uh, been really Nair bad if... Yeah. Pretty weak. Yeah, even that forward air. Oh, oh. gets the up throw here. Oh, no follow-up, though. Jigglypuff can't go up that high. Maybe he should have uh, opted to throw him off stage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up for an edge guard. Ooh, good shield drops. This is... Nerve wracking here. It's getting tense. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Jigglypuff does, unlike most characters, have the option to just sort of retreat to the ledge. Yeah, Puff is pretty safe on the ledge. Like it's very, it's it's not really favored for a space animal to try to contest Jigglypuff. Yeah, you so. should just let her have the space. Goes for the read there on the uh, down throw. Um, it's oh gonna be one of gosh. his. Oh gosh. That was actually. They're getting close. They're getting close. <laughs> that was actually a super scary advancing laser because like Jigglypuff was in the air. That might be it. So okay, like, not quite. So sort of like the, like sort of general anti Falco tech is if you're in the air and he's shooting laser, he can't hit you with a laser, so you fall on him with a move. Uh huh. And that's that's that situation that like almost happened, but yeah. not quite. So. It's also one of those things where like if you trade with a laser, you get like what two oh, percent, yeah. no no knockback, but Puff's aerials at this percent oh, might kill. He's living. So this I think Dude, any we're other going hit to will time do it. Here. I think any other hit here from Nurak will do it. Um, Ace Flix has to get. <gasps> That could no, what was why, the would, why would he not back throw? Why would he not back throw? And the rush shield drops out. I don't oh, think. Oh, nice, nice power shield. So I don't think either of them can actually afford to play for the timeout because I feel like that gives up too much ground and they're both at kill percent. Th I think Ooh. one. Oh, oh that my work. that's God, it. So it. rising backer takes it from Nurok. Ooh. Takes a deep breath. Says, um, "Holy shillelagh." Holy guacamole, that was seven a seven minute, minute match. Game? If we were at a Royal Flush, that would have been a timeout, so. Back to the uh, <laughs> the old school timer. classic rules here, the eight minutes. All right, so oh let's my. see, Naruk is gonna ban Dreamland. And um, then we're gonna yeah. see Fountain. <laughs> the reads. Well, it's sort of. It's, it's also like the standard, <laughs> yeah, for the matchup, but shh, 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 shh. It, the reads. It's like if you uh, if you if you lost on Battlefield, then you go the other stage. <laughs> and the other stage in this matchup is Fountain. Yeah, still has like the very high ceiling. It also forces a little more interaction out of Nurak because it's a smaller stage. He can't afford to just run away and laser Ooh. as much. Good read on the uh, roll. Oh, that was two reads. He's he's dropped a couple punishes off of his throws or mm, gets that the rest was, there though. That was sick. I was about to say he might want to step up his punishes a bit, and uh, I think he heard me. <laughs> Ace Flakes takes it on a rest there. Yeah, that was a really nice conversion off of straight up air into, like, uh, getting the DI. Yeah. I think that's his first rest of the set so far, too. And that's uh, definitely something that'll help Puff immensely. Oh. It's a good good tech chase there. Oh. Oh, my gosh. He is still going. He is reading wow. Nurok right now. It's all over him. But Nurok breaks free, able to break it with his combo of his own. But yeah, see, it's on a much smaller stage, he's just forced to play by the ledge a lot more, which is a very dangerous position for Falco. One back air can just set him up for an edge guard. Also, the shorter platforms, I think, make it a little more awkward to camp. Yeah. I think there's definitely some areas, though, where the, the shorter platforms can benefit Falco, though. It makes it a little harder for Puff, like you said, to come on top of his yeah. lasers with an aerial. So a little bit of uh, good for both characters, but I definitely think this oh. is a Puff. Ooh, yikes. This is definitely <laughs> a Puff favorite stage in the matchup. Oh gosh. Honestly, I don't even know if it's like favorite. It's just like a. It requires you to change your playstyle a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Because like. Nurak's gonna have to change up how he camps yeah, and uh, like adapt a little bit. Every so often, the platforms will just either disappear or be at that really awkward spacing where you can't short hop laser onto them. Ooh. Um. So you. you Quick have question to, for yeah. you here. Well, how do you feel about this matchup when there are no platforms involved? Do you I feel like platform. it benefits Falco more? Like on a, like a stage like FD, let's I say. I think both characters, uh, b both space animals, sorry, um, consider FD like a good counter pick. Okay. I know. I definitely know that's like one of Fox's favorite stages, but Falco is definitely a different matchup. Oh, yikes. It's like um, Rock's playing it very safe. The here. thing about platforms is you can you can always get uh, sort of cheesed right by the up throw. Mm -hmm. So like on FD, the, so on FD it's weird. It's like if you di the throw, they can actually maybe 50-50 you with pound. 
Okay. Because uh, I think you've seen like H box will like up throw, up throw like I think it happened at Royal Flush vs. Leffen. Yeah, up he throw. Up threw and pound. he pounded. And if you DI into the pound, or like sorry, if you DI so that you survival DI the pound, you get rested. Mm -hmm. But if you survival, if you actually DI towards Jigs, which is actually like the combo DI for then like pound, an up air, then up air sends rest. you at the place for rest. So. Yeah. It's a goofy 50-50, but I think it's a less scary 50-50 than the platform one. I see. Nurox, uh, I really got to say, I really like his recoveries here. He's uh, He hasn't really been gimped yet, and he's making it really difficult for Ace of Flakes to hit him. He's coming high a lot onto top platform, and Puff has uh, some pretty poor vertical mobility, so it's really pretty challenging for Ace of Flakes to go up there and actually con uh, contest the top platform against Falco. Good so pressure there from Nurok. That being said, Nurok is still the one down, so he does have to go in eventually. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ace of Flakes is definitely going to be content to kind of stretch the lead, take his time. Definitely take his time coming off this ledge. Um, I've actually, at some point, eventually I just, like, give them the ledge. Because, yeah. like, I've found that Jigglypuffs that are, like, sort of staying on the ledge, they'll just stay there. So, like, ooh. Oh, bad jump from Nurok. Um, that was a nice read. It was good, yeah. He gets pounded off stage, which is always a dangerous position to be in, but then he jumped right away, but he didn't do anything after his jump. He didn't uh, up B or side B or like do an aerial, so he was just kind of exposed to a back air. He might have been going for a shorten. Maybe. Um, that was sort of like the spacing that you would go for like a shorten attempt. At any rate, it's a uh, good edge guard there from Ace of Flakes, who was kind of struggling to get those a little bit game one, but uh, oh, ooh, he tries to go for it for the fans. He should be alive here. Oh, oh okay. no, no. Or not. Shakes his head a little bit, but uh, yeah. he did have the right read. He, he just had that. Now it's actually a very close game, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, that's part of why the risk reward of rest is really important to understand. When the risk is too big, like there, you can give up a lead very easily. That, be that being said, <laughs> good wave land back out of the laser um, makes it so Nurox Nair was very unsafe there. You can just grab him after he lands on the yeah. whip punish. Up throw up air also combo. So actually quite a decent first time. Yeah. So I think what we saw was a Yoshi story ban, which means we get the other broken Space Animal stage, aka Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, a little bit higher of a ceiling than Yoshi's, but not much higher. And then I think the bigger thing is he just has so much room yeah. to run away from Puff here. Puff really does room. not have the mobility to uh, catch Falco, oh. let alone... Oh, oh. Tech Chase. Tech Chase from Puff. Good DI by Nurok to not get hit by anything other than a back air. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think, uh, yeah, I, I like the idea there. Um, he went to for a read after that Nair, but um, I would have liked to see him make a knockdown there and just uh, force Nurok to tech. Do you think he might have been going for something super cheeky, like a uh, like weak Nair rest, you know? I think he might have been going for like a weak Nair and then just see what he does, because I know weak Nair grabs there, a setup there if they shield. Or if they roll, you can do a forward smash read or a dash attack read. So I think he just wanted to see what Nurox's habits were, um, get a little bit more intel. So uh, those were the ugliest rising pounds I've ever seen. <laughs> he, I'm pretty sure he. Oh no, that was a very. So that's one of the down airs that's like, oh. as a puff player, I imagine you have to see coming from Falco yeah, from a like mile a away. Miles away. Yeah, the the down air is pretty hard for puff to contest directly, but on whiff punish you can grab it. It's pretty unsafe. So it's one of those things where you can. Add it to your arsenal, but make sure not to overuse it, and make sure to mix in with um, double jumps and fade backs, lasers. Falco's got a lot of options coming off that platform. You don't have to down air off it every time. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why when I see sometimes like a, uh, I think older Amada when he was when he like got nervous on uh, on FD, just like spamming full hop double jump back uh -huh. airs and stuff. I was just like, you know, I don't think you're gonna win like that. Right, I feel like... Oh, so he goes for Nair grab there. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, and he waits out the spot dodge. Gets the up throw rest. Nurok oh, shaking so his head. Stock trade. That's all right, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think Nurok looks a little upset, but I think you, you're Ace still in it. You're only one stock down. Um, and Falco has the tools to bring it back. You just got a good shield pressure there. Um, I think Ace of Flicks might have been able to uh, up smash out of shield after the uh, wave land down. Yeah, sure. The West Ball shine's a little unsafe, but... On the other oh, hand, fine. it's also pretty dangerous because Definitely I think you can safe. crouch cancel it as uh, the up smash is Falco. Yeah, like, so Falco's shield pressure is actually, like, pretty unsafe for the most part. It's just, like, um, if you're really good with some of the pressure strings, you can at least make certain parts of it safe. Yeah, um, you can make certain parts of it safe and also 
really skew the risk reward. So like going so for something like an up smash or right. shield grab is pretty risky. Yeah, the other thing is um, getting shined by Falco much scarier than getting shined by Fox. So when Fox does a shield pressure, it's much safer. Yeah, it's a but lot harder for him to convert. Yeah, it's like if if Fox shines you out of shield pressure, a lot of the time he's not gonna like he he would have to like sort of read that you're gonna get hit by the shine, you know? Yeah, he actually has to like hit confirm it. Oh, Ooh, misses another rest here. Dead down. Oh, gets the, uh, yeah, the weird actually, inner hitbox. Yeah, that was actually smart by Nurok. because I was I was thinking Ace if he uh if he dies downward towards the tree maybe. Oh yeah, tried, tries to tech yeah. That's true. Good option. But I think he's going to camp out the rest of this transformation. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, good back air. Ooh. Narak's getting a little aggressive here. Um, after some of his techs, he just immediately goes back in. And yeah, Ace of Flakes is starting to catch on to him. Just back air and back out. <laughs> a little antsy. Ooh. Narak misses his short hop laser. Nice Ooh. CC grab. Nice. Good edge guard there. It. Reads the uh, side immediate side B there back from Narak. Just clips him with the forward air, and that's all he needs. Good lead here from Ace of Flakes, although we did see a comeback from Nurok after uh, Ace of Flakes missed a rest last game, so let's see what happens here. Good lasers so far. He's keeping his distance, uh, and then he jumps in with a little aggressive with a laser there. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Okay, this is a dangerous position for both of them. One back air here could probably kill Puff with bad DI, and then on the other hand, one grab could end uh, Nurok's stock here pretty quickly. Ooh. That's that was scary. The soft forward air, I thought might have been able to fall with an up air and get a pretty nasty follow up, but uh, they're just poking at each other right now, trying to. <laughs> okay, and that's big. Uh, Ace of Flakes makes it back to center stage unharmed, which is huge. He was in a pretty dangerous position right by the ledge. He could die pretty easily, but now that he's in the middle of the stage, um, Pokemon's actually like a pretty big horizontally stage, so he's going to be able to live nares like that. Whereas on something like Yoshi's, he would probably die. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gets oh. caught for the drift on his back air there. And this is a huge lead now here for yeah, Mesa Flakes. He's got to be happy with uh, the extra credit he earned on this stock. Out of Neurox's reach, probably. But, you know, it never, it never really counts. Yeah, unlike, say, like a, a matchup against, like, maybe Fox, like, Falco doesn't exactly have the same zero to death comeback potential. Um, yeah, it, it definitely requires more reads, more so, opens up, more opening up in neutral. So what I would, what I would super love to see, or like you know, not really out of bias, just like out of kind of being funny, is like, oh, good. if they manage to make it to like another transformation, nice right. tech, sealing it, sealing, sealing, sealing the deal. Um, if they had like gotten to like the fire trans, or, like the mountain transformation, yeah, and it gets like some crazy the sequence of like shine, shine off the top. You know? Oh, like off like those th two flat. That'd be pretty funny. That would have been hype. I think that'd be pretty salt inducing as well. <laughs> Good set though from both of them. Um, a little rough for Nurok. Not too happy with that, but he'll bounce back. I'm sure. Long, uh, pretty stags out of here today. Everybody's here. We got Smash yeah. Gods coming up to stream. We got Lod, Lod here. Zane. Zane. Is Jerry here? Jerry, Jerry is here. here. Yeah. You're here. Plank's Hat. here. Plank's here for once, Plank. actually. He's been not here for the past couple weeks, right? Maybe? 